it's finally happened. I'm finally here with John Oates. Yes. You have no idea how we've been hunting you down. Oh, good. Thank you. I got to start out first with thank you for being here at the 38 Song Writers Festival. Mm -hmm. I think you're a huge name and you add so much okay. to it. So, and I know you love it. Then I got to start with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay, if you want to. Okay, because I think it's the most ridiculous thing. It doesn't matter. It, 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 Let me tell you something. Okay. It really doesn't matter. Um, Daryl and I were inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, and it's much more important to me because that's, for me, the, the heart and soul of everything we do. It's where the, all this music begins. Uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame will be a wonderful tribute, and if it ever happens, I'll be there with a beautiful suit on, and I'll be gracious and happy, uh, but it, I'm not losing any sleep over it, and that's how I feel about it. Well, you shouldn't be losing sleep over I'm it, not. but I'm losing sleep over okay, it, because right. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Well, you can start another campaign. Is there one Lord, going on? There's tons of them. Okay, because yep. it's, it's insane. So right. can you tell me um, who some of your favorite songwriters are? Uh, one sitting right there, Jim Lauderdale. Um, there's so many great songwriters. I couldn't even begin to to to, to start. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, look at look at the you know B Bob Dylan, Joni Mitchell, Gershwin, you know, Cole Porter, uh, Mozart. Gosh, where do you want to where do you want to start? Where do you want to end? It's too crazy. Is there a song that you wish you had written, like one in particular? A, I hear songs every day that I wish I'd written. Okay, so how is skiing this winter? Have you been, terrible. Is, it's the it's terrible conditions, the right? The snow wasn't good, but it doesn't matter because I'm not there. I am here in Florida. <laughs> I just got off a cruise boat in the Caribbean, and I'm going to New Zealand next week. So guess what? I'm going to be in summertime this whole winter. Well, uh, there's not much more I can say to that. There you except. Go. Tell me about some of the songs you wrote with Jim Lauderdale. Well, Jim and I are working on two songs right now for his new album that he's about to record in England with Nick Lowe and Nick Lowe's band. Um, and one's kind of a bossa nova kind of samba thing, and one's kind of an R&B thing. Um, and we might perform one of them tonight, which is exciting to do a brand new song. Also, there's a gal here named Daphne Willis, who's a young songwriter that I met in Nashville. And she and I wrote a song together. We're going to do that as well, too. Oh, cool. We're going to be there for sure. So we can't so, wait to perform yeah, so, it here. So I love doing stuff like that where, you know, you do some different things and new things. So we'll get to debut a few new songs, play a couple classics, and hopefully everybody will be happy. Okay, on a lighter note, um, no mustache? I haven't had a mustache since 1990. It is it been that long? Uh -huh. And there's such a fascination with your mustache. Let's just say that I, I've been longer without the mustache than I was with it. That's wild. Uh, but I, it, it actually, you know what happens when you get old? Gravity kind of takes its toll on you. Well, what happened was the hair all fell, kind of went down and ended up down here. So it's a gravity thing, I think. I, I think. Do you love the idea that I think Hall and Oates kind of never goes out of style? I mean, it never goes, it's, it's like well, the fact that you've been featured in so many movies and y a younger generation, you know, I see you every yeah. summer at Chastain yeah. and it seems like the crowd is getting younger and our, younger. Our music has stood the test of time and that's a, that's a credit to our songwriting and that's why I'm at a songwriters festival because that's the only thing I really care about and it's the most important thing to me. So uh, the fact that our music has been able to uh, endure and people still love it is a really important uh, thing for me. Well, your songs are the greatest ever. And, and I've I'm got a new album called Mississippi Mile and you better check it out. I want to check it out immediately. And there's a live album coming out in February called The Bluesville Sessions with my blues band. Okay, look at you. When do you yeah. stop? No. You lived in Aspen. Why should I stop? You wrote all these songs. Why should you I should, stop? You should be resting. No, I'm out of here. See ya. <laughs> Bye.